Hello, 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 everybody, and welcome to the fourth episode of What's the Topic Again podcast. I am one of the co-hosts, Imaria Love, a.k.a. Mars, and I am the other co-host, Deborah Love. Alrighty, and today we're going to be talking about our hair journey, specifically just, you know, our journey with our own hair because we've both been through a lot, yeah, <laughs> specifically yeah, I can in say, I can agree with you on the that. span of like a couple years, and we're going to be just talking about a few things, you know, our own experiences with our hair, the trials and tribulations, and also the good things that we've done to our hair, the bad things that we've done to our hair, and all that. And yeah, let's get into it to my story of what I'm going to talk about, my whole hair journey. Okay, so (laughs) even though my hair is not the greatest right now in video posts, but specifically for me and my hair, I've been getting my hair relaxed ever since I was three. It was really a straightener. Really? Yeah, because it was more for a child Mm -hmm. and not an adult type thing. So it was a straightener just to to soften it up Mm -hmm. um, and made it better for me to comb it so you can stop crying. (laughs) I was saying, I started like, was it age three or was it four? Was um, it older than that? Me, yeah, you were older than that. When I started doing that, you had to have been at least five or six. Okay. Because I know you was going yeah. to a dance school specifically at the time, and they wanted slick up, bun in that hair and all that with the fake bun or your real hair or with a sock on, all that. A That's ponytail. What they it, wanted it basically that. was a ponytail, but it was the ponytail. Well, it was the hair in a bun. Yeah, that's what so it was. So in order for me to fully get that slick look without having to slap on a whole lot of gel because mm-hmm. I didn't want that to Too damage much build up hair. for a child's hair, yeah. you know. So I found a kitty relaxer. Mm-hmm. I would say relaxer, straightener that made it her hair more manageable. The brand was called Just for Kids. If you really are yeah, curious, it was <laughs> Just for Kids. So just to make it much more manageable for mm-hmm. me and make the hair experience of combing her hair because I used to have, to have a woosah moment <laughs> before I combed her hair because this <laughs> kid acts a fool when I combed her hair. <laughs> oh my god, it was so dramatic. I was so dramatic as a kid. Like anytime, I the comb didn't even have to go through the hair. It just had to go through the thick new growth of the roots and just didn't even start eh, and just start all this foolishness. I, Man. I really had to ask people at work like, what do you do to comb your child hair? My child is very tender head. What do I need to do to comb her hair? And one young lady, she suggested that I start from the end of your hair and work my way up to the top in order to... Because um, I guess, you know, like, loosen up, like, the, the if it was in and not and the kinks or whatever the in there. thick bits for it to, like, go through go the straight hair through. Like So yeah, I started yeah. doing that. Really, it still didn't work. It really didn't matter. She okay, just really didn't, didn't want her hair combed. No. So I, I found ways to avoid combing her hair. I mean, I'm tender-headed. Putting in a whole lot of ponytails. Yeah, I'm like, I'm still tender-headed now, but it's more sensitive. It's like, it's, I just got a sensitive scalp, which a lot of people do, and a lot, not a lot of people know how to treat that correctly anyway. And um, specifically, I just been getting relaxed ever since because I really don't know how to treat like my own textured hair, you know, that naturally grows out my scalp when the new growth comes back in. I really don't know how to treat that. And if I really wanted to like, you know, get like my quote unquote natural hair back, I really can't unless I like cut it super duper short on like where all the new growth is, which is going to be like a big, big, big chop for me. Well, big and chop sometimes works yeah and i mean it worked for some people especially when you get sick of it or you just want easier maintenance but for me right now the way that it is i'm perfectly cool with it i like experimenting with my hair all the time i'll probably pull up pictures of my own like experimental hair is yeah just you really do. cute you do but specifically um i would say this for sure it was not an easy journey to get where i am right now because when I was like a teenager or most about to be like preteen teenager, a tween, age, yeah. yeah. Uh, I my mom decided to put the responsibility up to me to do my own hair. Did that work? No, no. <laughs> I had my hair in a ponytail all the time because I was doing all star cheerleading and also tumbling a lot 
So my hair had to be out of my face all the time or it's just going to get nasty and sweaty all over the place. And I just had it up in a ponytail consistently every day. I just would just brush it up and that's it. No nothing. No combing through. No nothing. And obviously it will show, especially when it comes to the day of getting a relaxer or at least getting your hair done. The whole time my mom was like, gosh, so much breakage. What happened? You know, I thought you were taking care of it. You said you were taking care of it. It looked fine, but when you really get into the nitty gritty, it just looked horrible. Imagine a whole sandwich bag. When I talk about the tiny sandwich bag filled with your own hair. That's traumatizing, in my opinion, for especially at my age. I, I was crying my eyes out because I'm like, that's a lot of hair in that but bag. She was not combing her hair. She was raking. Yeah. She was raking over her hair. Not and taking I, sections like you're right. supposed to do, you know? And I did the same thing as a kid. When Mama gave me the responsibility of taking care of my hair as a kid, I did not comb my hair either. I was raking over it, just raking over it, not combing it from root to tip mm -hmm. or from tip back to the roots. Mm -hmm. However, Whatever your I, want, I, want, I want combing it that way. I was basically just brushing it. Mm -hmm. And same thing. M but... Mama took it a different route from what you did. It, she she actually took the time out to comb, and it me it was like pulling, pulling, pulling. See, you really took your time, almost like giving salon quality took your time because you yeah. I'm gonna say you brought out all the stops. You brought out every single comb. You brought out even like hair oils and like detanglers and stuff. Yeah. You really tried your best to like save as much as my hair yeah. as possible because unless if you didn't, it would have been a lot more bigger it chunks was, to my yeah. scalp. Yeah. It was really bad. But so, but let me let me go back and straighten this. Okay. I was not avoiding combing her hair. No, 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 no. I no. would put her hair in styles whereas it stayed up for I'll a few days. I'll probably pull up some childhood pictures of myself. Right. It was too right. cute. It, it stayed <laughs> up a few days because I put it in so many ponytails yeah. whereas the new growth wasn't going to come out as fast as it was with it just being in a ponytail. Mm -hmm. So when I had those opportunities to put it in three, four, nine, ten little ponytails, mm -hmm. then that's what it, I did. It definitely worked out, especially yeah. for, you know, easier maintenance and also easy to detangle afterwards because it's right. just it dealing was with a, a very small section. Very small sections that I was dealing with at that time. So it's still, you know, that part, once she seen the damage that she had done, mm -hmm. and then me as a, as a parent, I, I share some responsibility on that as well because I should have still been watching you yeah. as well as to make sure that you were combing your hair. Yeah. You know, but at that time... You live and you learn. <laughs> yeah, you live and you learn. And yeah. then just from you seeing, just from her seeing how much hair that even with me taking the time out to detangle, to take those sections and, and comb it, and, and still have those chunks of hair come yeah. out of there. From that day forward, she took the time out to take care of her hair and do and then start doing research on hair or you yeah. know to see I what was, type I of really hair that she had and start getting the products. Yeah. At least asking me to get those products that yeah. was going to be best for her hair from that that day forward. So yeah, yeah. we we both learned. Because in my opinion, not a lot of people would know this specifically. I mean, you might have like you know a four adjacent type of hair, but it's specifically different porosities out there. What works for your hair, what doesn't. Hair oils do not work for every single scalp. Right. And also a lot of hair products and hair tools do not work for every single scalp. And not a lot of people know that it's different for you as a person, you know? It depends on your texture. Right. It depends on the thickness of your hair. It depends on really your background yeah as far as putting certain things on your hair because everybody like you said everybody can't use the same product and this from us learning yeah, from yeah, each yeah. other it's yeah. not for me knowing other people yeah this from us learning from each other because i have have my journey too and i will tell you my journey when she finished with hers yeah. but still i had to learn what was work worked best for me when mm -hmm. i went on my hair journey as well mm -hmm. and um specifically after that day to be honest of learning you know okay, maybe I could do this style instead. Like, let's switch it from, like, a high pony to, like, a mid pony, okay? Then let's smish, switch it down to a low pony. And then it turned into just the pandemic hit kooky style. Let's just go for it. Cut bangs. We going just, you know, basically dye my hair black, deep black. And it was so pretty. And I get so upset and so emotional every time because it was just <laughs> too pretty. It was too pretty. 
And then specifically after that, I did braids, crochet braids. Now, I'm going to say this for sure. If you're going to do crochet braids, not every like, braid into the scalp will work for everybody, especially for relaxed hair on me. It don't work, especially if you don't in between maintenance, unbraid it, detangle, wash it, rebraid it like you should be and not let it sit in your hair. And that's where breakage comes in all over again, you know, and I but the crochet braids were cute. They really were. I, I did black and blue. I did blonde and like almost like this um, dark brown color as well. And I did red and black too. Really cute colors. You had to post some pictures of those. Yes. They're very cute. They're so I like cute. Those. Yeah. And they're so cute. And I just, I, I just love experimenting with my hair so much. And I gotten better with my relationship with my hair because at first I used to just hate the maintenance of it all. And it really got to a bullet point for me with my hair, um, it being too long. I hated it being so long that it touched my back, everything like that. So I'm like, you know what? Let's just cut it shorter. Why not? That's it. And and I'm like, you really you want your hair cut short? I'm like, yes. Like, yeah. I'm like, seriously, you want me to? Yeah, just just cut it right here, and I will cut it. Yep. And then she's like, uh-uh, that's not, that's not short enough. Cut it some more. I'm like, cut it some more? Yeah. yeah. I'm like, wow. Okay. Yep. Okay. I mean, I'm sure the hair just works for me now. And also, if you saw, like, the pilot episode, that was freshly dyed black hair specifically for me. And I love the black hair on me because it just makes my hair look fuller, especially with my thin hair as it is now. But as you can see in the video post, uh... I just love experimenting with my hair still to this day, and I just love where I am right now. And if God says, you know, it's time to give it up, it's time to give up the hair, you know, then it will be like that. But for till now, my mom will still keep doing relaxes on my head, and I'm still going to dye my hair no matter what. <laughs> And uh, so, what, you want to take a break before I get started? Yeah, because your journey is a lot longer than mine, in it my is. opinion. It is. <laughs> so, yeah, we're going to take a little short break, and we're going to get into the real deep dive onto my mom's hair journey. Alrighty, people. Let's get into my mom's hair journey. So we can talk about my hair journey, and I'm not going to go all the way far back as far as a child, but mm -hmm. I can let you know that when I was growing up, it was natural in the beginning. Mm -hmm. Then, you know, if Mama wanted to do it for school pictures or whatever, we pressed it, have the hot comb on the stove. You hear that sizzle because your hair is frying. <laughs> you know, it's you like get that. right to the root. Right. And then, then hold your ear because mm -hmm. you don't want your ear to get burned. And then you get back there until your edge is in the back, until your edge is on the side. I know I heard in some cases it's like uh, get a towel or some wet towel and be like that specifically. Oh, uh, uh, but that that person, I was glad. To me, in a way, I was glad the perm was created because we didn't have to get it pressed anymore. But still, you can scratch your scalp. Yeah. She did make sure that she did oil our scalp because I mean, there wasn't it's enough a treat, oil. It's, it's a treatment for your hair. That's what it is right, because you're right. straightening your uh, wavy or curly hair follicles. That's what that is. Yeah, so we did that for a number of years. And, you know, just your hair go through some things. You, you, don't, mm -hmm. you don't realize as a kid, and I'm sure as a parent because everybody was doing it and they marketed so well so, as far as they, that. They marketed back, probably back then it was a lot more heavy induced because of like, you know, oh, being ethnic, ethnic you cannot like be uh, showing that. You got to blend in with the crowd. Strain your hair. Strain your baby's hair at that, you know. That's how it was, and in my opinion, that's not right. Thankfully, it's not like that. But everybody didn't buy into it because no. some people, because it's still that that was a cost for yeah. someone that was living on a low income, and you had three girls mm -hmm. growing up too. So the thing about it is, either they're gonna get their hair permed, or they're gonna get their hair pressed, mm -hmm. or they're gonna have a curl. Cause they had a a curly a curl in hers because the the perm just didn't do well for her hair. So that's what she did with hers. But still, it was just that we still didn't realize how much damage we were doing right, to it right. at that time. Because I can tell you what type of hair that I had. All I knew is I had some, mine was pretty, it wasn't as nappy nappy, but it would it get like, to a point where. Looking at like old pictures and stuff, and specifically, I would say it's like, it was like a nice, like cute, it was, it's given like on the low end of uh, like three, it's, it wasn't touching four in my opinion. 
That's in, that's in my opinion. Looking yeah, back okay. at pictures. I mean, she could comb through it. It wasn't yeah. it wasn't bad. I didn't have a bad texture like a of hair. Three C or something. Or... Right. I didn't have a bad texture of hair as far as that's concerned. But still, you had to put something on it right. in order to do something with it. Right. So I would say the baldness started coming in the in the crown of my head probably 2009, 2010. And only thing I just kept doing, I seen it, but I would cover it up with my hair. I would put my hair in a style Either in a cover, way where it, you, cover it up, you can a see wig, it. Uh, a wig, a ponytail. Yeah, which that, in my opinion, was your downfall. It really was. It really was. But then think I did. I listened to it. Still, you talk to people at work, you know, or talk to people that you know. I, my hair is thinning in the top. Family, like, well, that's genetics. Yeah. You know, the thinning part is genetics. So there's something that you just Which probably think like you have to deal with. Which is true, but right. it just really depends on what you do but to But if it's genetics, it why just me and not my other sisters? Right. So they, 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 don't, they don't have that yeah. part, you know, going on with them. So still, like you said, the ponytails probably didn't do any good. But Talking, I, I got the injections. I didn't want to go through that again no, another, because that, I, that was not good. That jump, was not a good feeling. To jump back specifically before, like, the ponytail thing, you did a weave. I did sew a, in. I did a sew-in, but I did the sew-in after the ponytails and stuff. Oh, I really? Did, I did the sew-in. I did the sew-in, and then um, my sister helped me cut it out. Uh-huh. I combed through my hair. I washed it and conditioned it that night, clad it up, and the next morning... My hair was matted together. I could not even see where I had plaited up in. And we tried to put some conditioner on it to see if it would loosen it up or, or you know, the strands can come apart. Mm -hmm. That did not work. Mm -hmm. I just ended up, I just told her to cut it. She mm -hmm. said, you sure you, you don't want to try to do it? I said, just cut it. So y your sandwich bag experience with hair, I got a sandwich bag experience <laughs> with hair as well. So she cut it. She cut. She cut it all the way to the point of where I could comb it. Mm -hmm. So those bases, the ponytails, bases were basically cut off. Yeah, I must say, seeing it, I mean, I saw the whole thing from head to toe. I was just really, I was like young, young at the time. Yeah. So I really don't remember it, but I do remember seeing it. If that makes any sense. Right. So you know that part, I dealt with it, but my hair grew back. You mm -hmm. know, it grew back. I went natural basically after that because I didn't put a perm or anything in my hair after that. Yeah. So from that point, we did come to Georgia mm -hmm. for a visit. Mm -hmm. And I went to, I think I went to a barber or something, and I just had them cut it all the way off. And we made it even. So that's that's really really so what my almost natural like they journey did like started. A like a curly cut almost, or at least a big chop curly cut. It that's was a big chop. Was. It was a big chop because I have a picture of that too yeah, as well. Yeah, yeah. With with that, um, I have a picture of that because I think I put a color in it or yeah, something. Yeah, it was like she wanted to go like more of a bleach blonde, but it can't turn out like into an amber honey blonde. That's that's what, that that's what happens when you let your sisters <laughs> do your hair. Yeah. You know, oh, it's it's going to be cute. It's going to be so cute. I'm like, okay, no. So I still had to cut it down, but it it looked well on me. Yeah. It looked well. I, I still just was accepting of just having a shorter hair and natural hair at yeah. that time. I was good with that. I was comfortable with it. Mm -hmm. But I was comfortable with wearing it around people who didn't know me. Yeah. And the fact is when I came back to Louisiana, Yeah. I threw a wig on my head because I did I wasn't ready to share that with my coworkers. Yeah, I'm gonna say just you know a little insecurity or most like getting used to it for yourself first. Getting before. used to it for myself, and then I talked again. Of course, I talked to someone who has really good natural hair, and did she said just just start wearing your hair, and she was telling me of some products that she used for her hair. Of course. It worked for her texture. Right. Because and she hers, had it was thick. like really thick. She hair. had it really was, thick hair. Like so it worked hair. it worked for her, but it did not work for me. Yeah. But I still, you know, I still experiment experiment with it and I just found a product and I'm just gonna say the name because it worked well for me. 
and I found it at Target was Talia YG. Yeah. Her products worked so well for me because I talked to someone from church and they told me what they were using on their natural hair. Mm-hmm. So her product worked well for me and I used that for a while, but it still didn't stop the hair in the top of my head from falling off. Yeah. You know, it was still slowly, the little small ball kept on getting bigger and bigger and through bigger. Through the years. Through the years. And I, I told someone I felt like that in the top of my head, it looked like I was Bozo the Clown. Because he had a big bald spot in his head, but it wasn't as that big. No, it wasn't that, that drastic. Right, but it still, it was just the fact of that. So, yeah, I wear my wig. I still would have my different lengths or whatever yeah, as far as like with my wig. long moments, yeah. like long curly moments. But know? it makes me, I, I, I feel like, okay, no woman should have a bad hair day. Yeah. Because you got so many styles of wigs out there. Yeah. At reasonable prices, you yeah. know, you, you, you can go buy your wig. Now, if you want to spend money on a nice wig, and I do, I go spend money on the wigs that I know that I want to last for a long time. Mm-hmm. I, I would go and I would spend a few hundreds of dollars or whatever on it because that's what I want. Mm-hmm. And if I, that's what I want, then that's what I'm going to get mm-hmm. at that time. But it makes me feel comfortable knowing that, okay, I got something on it, and this this is a new look for me. Mm-hmm. So that's that's what I do with it. But come, when we was talking in 2022, towards the end of 2022, I started talking to her. I said, you know what? I think I'm going to go bald. And I was like, mm. yeah, you sure about that? I'm like, you sure? That, that, that's a big change for you right Right, there. right. And so I talked to my husband about it, and he was like, well, it don't matter to me. I'm yeah. gonna love you either way yeah. it goes. So much, that much, was like a little little confirmation. I'm like, yeah. oh, you know, that's sweet, but you know, that was that was a confirmation. But it still had to be me yeah. feeling it to do it. Yeah. And specifically, in my opinion, when she first said it to me, I was be like, mm, that's a big thing for you. But she really like you know, touched me with just how truly she felt, not only here. But in here as well, you know, like and I'm touching my heart and my mind for the audio listeners. But specifically, she told me all of her own journey, how she personally felt and how not confident she felt with her hair. And I just felt so touched in the spirit specifically. I just felt it's like, you know, whatever is time is time for her, you know, and I slowly came to accept it being like, you know what? I'm here along for your journey. I'm a ride along with that train with you, you know. I'm here to help. If you want me to, <laughs> if, I'm going to say I can, like, you know, have an undercut myself and just be rocking it with you. Whatever, you know, I'm here for you. That's it, you know. Yeah, because it was like I didn't feel, I don't know even, I won't even say feeling whole, but I just got tired of trying to cover it, cover it up. Exhausted. Yeah, you know, you. You, you got to find a style to cover it up. You, Your hair is long in certain spots, and you're just wondering why it's just not growing in that spot. I did see a doctor, and they did say I had alopecia. Mm-hmm. So I was making sure that I did have alopecia, you know, just just to know that if I chop it, I ain't, it, ain't, it ain't coming back. Mm-hmm. So I decided on December 22nd of 2022, and I told her, I say I'm ready. We're going to cut it. And she said, you sure? I said, yes, we're going to cut it. And we videoed it. Yeah. And we took some pictures <laughs> yeah. of her cutting my hair. Yeah. And I was fine with it. Mm-hmm. I was comfortable with it. As long as the people that I know that's in the household to me, my, the ones that connect with me and see me on a daily basis, mm-hmm. know that I'm comfortable with doing it. Plus, I've seen um, a YouTube video on some women that's a part of a ball club. Mm-hmm. You know, all of them are naturally well, I'm going to say naturally bald, but they are bald. Yeah. You know, so you go through that. But then I also had to think about maintenance yeah. as far as bald. So mm-hmm. I looked at a whole lot of videos on women who are bald and how they maintain their bald head. So mm-hmm. I'm like, okay, is it a shiny bald like the men bald? <laughs> what are they using? I are mean, they using I, razors I or, even, or this I or even that? I did my research myself, and I saw, like, you know, a couple of women on the Internet that, do have alopecia in some cases, you know, it's like very severe that they, they can't grow hair at all no more. In some cases, it's like they still got to shave their head, which is like my mom's case right here, you know? Yeah, yeah. And I, and I, I shave it, just a total shave, once a week. Mm-hmm. And 
I gotta get on her butt with that every single time because when it, the week gets too busy, she's like, oh, yeah, let's do it another then time. I, I, I push it back, but I don't like pushing it back too much. So, but yeah, you start, I, I would, you're starting to finally get a routine yeah, on yourself, yeah, which so, is good. But then it's still. What I found the right razor that works for me right. is asking your uncle. <laughs> he is bald. Yeah. I said, what do you use to cut your hair? You and he sent, he sent me a picture of the razor that he used to cut his hair because I got the shaving cream. I got the razors. I got this thing that I ordered from Amazon with the nine blades on it. I yeah. said, this is, this is a... a a blaze or shaver on steroids. That's yeah. what I say because there's so many on there, but it does give me the clean it's, cut it's that I want. It's nine blades, I believe, yeah. on there. It gives me the, the clean cut that I want, but it's still, you have to stop in between and clean to it, clean, clean it, it out. Yeah. You know, you have to make sure that it's charged completely. So you got to make sure that it's doing what it's doing. So I really like the shaving part. Mm-hmm. I, I, I really like, you know, the part of just shaving my head, ball. So we'll put some pictures up as far as when I was cutting it, yeah. and then we'll put some pictures up of my me as far as me being bald, and then yeah. maybe one day, you know, Trigger as far as the warning, video, I guess I don't know. Jump scare, just bald. yeah. I, I don't but, want to come on camera, and and if the ones are seeing the YouTube post of our podcast. Our, our, our podcast yeah. and has me bald and be like, whoa, what, <laughs> what's going on? I thought I seen this in this picture and that in that picture, yeah. but you still should know that. Hey, if this is my natural hair, I'm doing a good job. But this is not my natural <laughs> no, hair. It's a good wig. That's but what but it's is. mine. It's mine while I got it on, though. She I has can names for the wigs, oh, yeah. by the way. <laughs> this is Kelly. This is Kelly. I like Kelly. I have one named Deborah, which would be me. That's Deborah. I have Tina, and then I have Lisa. No, that one I named. Sheila. I'm gonna say yeah. <laughs> but you took Sheila. Yeah, I took Sheila. You took Sheila. Yeah, okay. we took Sheila. So I got I, I think, cut bangs on Sheila and Sheila yeah, looked cute. But yeah. I have I have Lisa as well, but I'm still working trying to see what style we're we, we we trying to best with Lisa in. right yeah, now. Right now we, we, we need a mannequin head, that's all we yeah. need. Yeah. But specifically with that whole journey of hers, I mean I never seen her smile this much and just be like, Who I just need to snatch this wig off? I would snatch it off in a heartbeat. Like, yes, oh, I would. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> just need to like, give a girl a warning I get, and just snatch the wig. Okay. It's too hot. I'm going to snatch it off my head. <laughs> and then it came to, you know, after when you did it, you I was like, now you're just showing yourself off. Be more confident. You're like, ew. <laughs> it first. took a minute. It did. It took a minute for me before I went out in public as far as being bald. Mm-hmm. You know, it, it took, I mean, I had the confidence to shave all of it off or, and to cut it off. But I just needed that yeah. confidence to Yeah, that was the big jump. Around. Now we need to do the hurdle now, you know? Right. And I did that. Yeah. And I got so many compliments as far as how I look with being bald. Like you got reinsurance from not only your family, but also from strangers, too. Because exactly. you said a woman from the doctor's office told, complimented you right. on your bald head. And right. And you're like, this is so nice. Oh yeah, she good. said, yeah, yeah, I, I like that. You you look well with it. And I'm like, okay, then thank you. So I now I know, you know. So I'm like, even encourage your own mom to even do it, you know. <laughs> right, mama is bald now. Yeah, yeah. and I'm like, this, I'm, I, I, she looks so much better with the two, and just, I, I, I just love. She still may, she may make, she may let hers grow back. Maybe. I don't know I don't whether she's gonna keep it bald like that. She do like her hair, but yeah. she, of course. She like doing what I'm doing too, so we'll see. We'll see how that works. But out. specifically, like I said, how confident she has become over the over the years. I just see her bright spirit all over. It's again. only been one year. Uh, it's coming still up though. on you said over the years. Oh, over the year. Over I the past that. year. It's, yeah. My God, Mama, yeah, you December twenty second. She grammar. This right here was a milestone, so you're gonna exactly re- you're gonna remember the exact date. Yeah. You know, so December twenty second, twenty twenty two. Almost a year. Almost know? a year. Almost a year. Okay. <laughs> I would say just been almost like the whole almost a year anyway. Just in general, how much she has lined up and just be more confident in herself and just be like, yeah, you know, I'm just going to snatch off this wig and you're like, okay, it's time for this maintenance day time to like, you know, shave my head and stuff. Just how radiant, that's the word, radiant you have been. <laughs> oh, thank you. <laughs> but still, <laughs> still, you know, just to cut all of it off. Yeah. And you would think, in the back of my mind, I would think, okay, since I cut all of it off, maybe it'll grow back in that part too. 
No. Still, when I get the little stubble, when and when I go for a week or so without mm-hmm. actually shaving my head, which I don't like doing, <laughs> when I do that, it ain't growing back. Yeah. It ain't growing back. Yeah. And people say it's still things out here. Take this vitamin. Take that. I. I'm not even to me, and to be honest with you all, um, our listeners. Yeah. And the ones that seeing it on YouTube. Mm-hmm. I love being bald. <laughs> I really do. I don't have a problem with it. I don't want my hair to grow back. I really don't. don't I really that. wish the rest of us just stopped growing so I wouldn't have to shave it anymore. <laughs> and I'll be happy with that. I was say, especially at your age, one day the hair just going to stop, you know. And I'll be happy with that. <laughs> <laughs> it'll, it'll be a miracle when that happens, you know. But, yeah, that's her journey specifically. And, I, like I said, I'm proud of her making almost a year milestone. Oh, <laughs> is it? Is it? And uh, just how happy she has been. And I'm going to keep saying that because it, it's it's true, though. Because I've seen the whole struggle, even as, like, a kid, kid's lens at the time. And even me seeing it now, I just was like, it, it, it's a big change. And it's a good change for you, in my opinion. And I love that. And I'm here for that. <laughs> and I, I appreciate, the, you know, the support. Because mm-hmm. it's hard to jump into something or, or to do something different for people to accept you. People, right. Especially people that love you because they feel like, oh, you should have tried this, you should have tried that. Yeah. You should have done Still would have to be a lifestyle thing. Yeah. So if is. I start taking vitamins to make my hair, because you're going to have to, it's really going to be stimulating those follicles. Yeah, as I'm going to say for some open, people, you if see, that works, yeah, you know. Like, you so. see the, some of the transformations that works for some people, you know, to each their own. But for my mom, especially for her getting them shots in the head, which a lot of people say it hurts. And it did hurt. And she came in like, <laughs> I'm like, well, can you get some out of warning before you start doing it? I mean, she, she came in like three, like four the, injections. You've you done the biotin vitamins and right? all that, which is, once again, that's like a hit or miss when it comes to like the And then somebody said, mix some Vaseline in with some other type we of cream. We ain't making no concoctions or, and or all that just to let our hair grow. Have some suffer aid and all this mixed Use this, this together. Use this A, B, and C hair oil that makes your hair grow and I'm stuff. Like, it, that's too no. much work But the thing opinion. about it is that's still maintenance. That's yeah. something that I'm going to have to think about doing every single day mm-hmm. that I don't want to do. Mm-hmm. I snap some Vaseline on his head after I get through. I have my uh, bump cream bump cream that I put on here when I need to. have that honey yeah. that, that I put on here as well. So I, I keep those bumps at it's bay. It's a honey serum if you're curious. Right. Not actual honey. We're going to make that right. very clear. Right. It's, it's a honey serum that stops it from itching and yeah. this and that. So I have those that I use, and I'm I'm fine with that. Yeah, I'm fine with that. I would say, speaking of which, specifically, uh, we're gonna talk a little bit more about just some things that we have like learned through the years, and just a few, probably like a few products or a few things that we personally recommend for you to do, especially if you want to like make a big change or like you know maybe try this stand the third. You know, we're gonna take a little break and we're gonna come back after the break. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I had to laugh at <laughs> It's like, okay, I'm not going to get into it that hard when it comes to the break, but when we come back. <laughs> we do. I mean, it, that music can be like, yeah. Uh-huh. And then it just don't last long. Uh-huh. Probably about what? Uh, one three, bar? Like three seconds or yeah, something? Yeah, it, it just one bar. But that's it. That's it. But anywho. <laughs> um, some things I personally recommend for you to do is Look up your density of your hair because I'm going to tell you this right now. I might be the skin color that I am and I'm proud to be, you know, a black woman in the U.S. But (laughs) there's different densities out there and a lot of thick hair oils do not work for me. I tried castor oil. I tried like like Jamaican black castor oil, some like thick greases and stuff, which some grease work, but some others do not, you know. And I personally am on the level of low porosity. So low oils work best for me. So like a jojoba oil, an argan oil, which I love argan oil. It works best for my hair. It soaks into the follicles and it makes like my tangles unravel like it's nothing, like it's butter even. And just switching a couple products like hair products and stuff like that made a miracle for my hair. Like I changed my shampoo first and then I did like, you know, 
a deep conditioner and then it was like the actual hair products now and i don't use that many hair products on my head because build up exists yep. and um even when it comes to gel i take like minor small amounts yeah, of we it used to, we used to have that that shine yeah jam, and damn I, I still use gel it or whatever you know but eco a lot of people like slap the eco on their hair like it's nothing I can't do that, or it's going to be mad build up on my edges, and I will have to rinse it out right. for me to, like, start over all over again to, like, do it the next hairstyle. But for me, anyway, heat protecting, especially if I need to straighten out my hair, for sure, for sure, and either, like, oil-based or most of the time um, water-based does work, but that's, like, a hit or miss. It just depends on the product. And um, I just personally recommend some products like Dark and Lovely. I love Dark and Lovely products. Those are really yeah, nice you for do. me. Yeah, and, and they do work well on you. Mm -hmm. And um, Aussie Moisture with the shampoo and conditioner. They I was going to say so that too. So cheap. Right. And it works for me because the main base of oil that they use is jojoba oil. And it's jojoba oil and olive vera. Two light things. That work best for my hair. It cleans yeah. my hair follicles, and it, like I said, it's at a very reasonable price at all different stores. We've and seen stuff. it in Pop Shift, didn't yep. it? Yeah, we did. It, it's it's like three ninety nine. It's so cheap. You can even get the bundle on Amazon for a nice reasonable price too. And I've been using another product recently, which is Heritage, and it's at Walmart, and I think it's probably at Target. I could be wrong though, but I know it's at Walmart for sure. And their conditioner. It lights up your hair. If you don't like strong scents, I don't recommend it. But if you don't mind, like, you know, your hair smelling nice every two seconds. It detangles your hair. It's nice and light. You don't need to use use that much. And it detangles real good. I love it personally. And, um, yeah, that's all I have to say about that. Comb your hair. <laughs> Please comb your hair. And comb, comb root it to right. Tip, tip the root. Yeah. However you're going to comb it. I'm going to yeah. say comb it but right. Comb it. I recommend that too. And even if it's like, you know, it's been like two weeks I haven't touched my hair. Touch that hair, please. Get to the roots. Feel how it is, you know. Yeah. How bad is it, you yeah. know. Is it easy to get through or we like probably need to make an appointment, you know. And just, you know, probably find like good protective styles. Good um styles that work best for you. Like the hairstyle in the video right now. I have my hair like in a ponytail in a bun right now. But this works best for me. And I have like a little sum sum on the front. So, it just little, little cutesy, cute little, just, two little ponytail. Just a little something, just to jazz it up into just a simple bun with edges, you know. And little things like that for me just makes it more personal to you as a person than anything else. I know that sounds weird, but it expresses me personally, and I just love doing that a lot. So anything you have to say to the people with uh, shaving your head and all well, that? With shaving my head. I don't wear a wig every day. Mm -hmm. So the days that I don't have a wig on, I went to the beauty supply store and I bought some decorative, I guess you can say scarves. Scarves, turbans. Turbans, yeah. And I put those on that color match with, coordinates with what I'm having on. Mm -hmm. And then right now, since it's getting colder outside, I'll put one of those scarves on my head and then I'll put a skull cap on it. <laughs> now, granted, if I do get hot, I would snatch that off my head. Or most push it back till you see right. all her full head. <laughs> yeah, but it's it's just the fact that it's low maintenance for mm -hmm. me. I would say for me, it's low maintenance because I don't know if everybody hair grow at the pace of my hair because mm -hmm. mine really really don't grow so fast. No, but like you after know, a week, it's like only after, like a yeah after centimeter a week or something yeah like after that. a week then. It'll, it'll sink. You can actually see hair yeah, 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 yeah. there, but after a week. But I try to make sure that I maintain it mm -hmm. so that it's it's not that much for me to shave it when it's time to be time mm -hmm. to shave. But, you know, you can have those decorative bonnets, turbans, right. scarves. Mm -hmm. They got videos. If you get those long scarves, there's videos on You've YouTube. You've done bandanas before, too, you, you know. Do, I've done the bandana, yes. I haven't just put on a baseball cap since I've no. been bald, so I haven't put on a baseball cap. I don't know You'll if I'll even do go that, for that like route. Spring or summer know. or something. I don't know. I don't know. Just get I'm the just gonna have face, to you know? find a way to see because right now it's cold, so right. I really don't want to like just say, be bald when it's cold because it's gonna be. Probably would do that. 
that that coldness hit my head yeah. through the little turbans that I have on. I'm like, whoa, no, that's that's too cold. So I slap a wig on or something. But I do that. But it's still gonna take the maintenance as far as having to shave. You still gonna have to find the right product as far mm-hmm. as shaving your head with. And I use the Men's Club yeah. shaving cream. That's what I use to shave my head. And I use a five blade razor. I mm-hmm. think it's from Vicks yeah, that I uh, use to shave my head with. It's either Vicks. Or like I think it's Gillette. I think you use No, I have Gillette razors, but I don't use the Gillette. Okay. Gillette is three blades, so yeah. I don't use that. Okay, I, okay. I got the five blade. It's the yeah, five, I five blade or something, yeah. that I have. Because I think I remember the little ball and the I'm trying to remember the It's it's a green and like dark blue razor. That's what yeah. it is. It's it's a it's a big I'm almost hundred yeah, percent sure I believe it's, it's a big, big. razor. I'll it's, probably it's, correct this and like, you know, show a picture on the screen right. what it it's, is. It's five blades yeah. because that's what my brother said he used for his. I don't have that shining ball. I don't have that that, that shininess that like, those that's men what have. I want, I want the shiny <laughs> I want the shining ball here. So y'all you see if you when you see it, put some suggestions in there so I can give me the shining ball. <laughs> I put some Vaseline on my head. Like, but that just momentarily for like that. For that so day and that's I'm it. not trying to slap no Vaseline and be walking around in my my head baking the sun <laughs> if if I'm doing things like that. But those those are products that I use. Like I told you, I have the Men's Club as far as the shaving creams mm-hmm. or the shaving gel. Mm-hmm. I put that on there. I use the Vic Five Blade Razor when mm-hmm. I'm shaving it. I do have a. I guess you could say an electric shaver. Yeah. I probably will use that in between if I really, really need to, but I'm so used to just shaving it now. It seems like it's so much quicker than using that mm-hmm. that thing that I used in the beginning, mm-hmm. that electric blade razor. So that, when I finish shaving it, I put some Vaseline on it. Mm-hmm. If it starts itching, then I have that honey oil that I put on it, and I make sure that I put my bump butter on that as well. And mm-hmm. I get that. I think I only find that at. It's at Walmart too. Yeah. Yeah. That that was at Walmart. It's a tiny little. T- I'm gonna say like, tiny little tub. That's yeah, all that is. Yeah. You don't have to use. A little goes a long way. A that's little goes a long way. So. Yes. I put that and I rub it in between my hands and I rub it on my head and I'm I'm good to go. Mm-hmm. You know, as far as doing anything, but I really really. It took some time for me to get to this journey because I really was connected. You know, it is a connection that you have with your hair because yeah. it's that's something that you've had your entire life. You yeah. know, I never had a problem where I didn't have my hair down my back. Mm-hmm. So I, I had that. So it was, even at the time when you cut it, it was pretty long. Yeah, it was. It was pretty long. It was just so just thin it, in the top yes, it, and it, so it, thick it, in the back. It's imagine like if you're watching like on the YouTube video, like where I have like my part specifically right now, this whole section wiped clean, if not just behind right here, and then yeah. just a very microscopic thin bit right there. You would probably get insecure about that in a heartbeat. I did. If- I did. I got insecure when people said, "Oh, I oh your your hair thin, such and such hair." A friend of mine, my sister, my mom, their hair thin like that too. You know, and I'm tall. So I wouldn't think no one you can actually like, see in the top of my head unless, unless you look down, you know, mm-hmm. unless I'm sitting down I'm sitting and you look down, at the top of my head, or if I bend down right. and then somebody can see in the top of my head. So yeah, this has been a journey as far as me covering up all these years. Some mm-hmm. people just not gonna do it. Some people still they can have three, four strands and they mm-hmm. still gonna try to hold on to it and yeah. cover it up. But to I each just, their own, you know. Yeah, to each their own. And my thing is, you have to be comfortable with how you look and how you're going to feel with it. Once mm-hmm. you get to that point where I got to, because it took a while for me to get to the point. Yeah. Once you get to the point of saying, okay, this is going to be the new me. Mm-hmm. And this, because I didn't know what my head, that's what people say. What's your head going to look like underneath that? That's what you were saying. Well, yeah, you don't, you don't know how, how it's going to look. I was, I was bald. appalled. It was more since she has freckles also yeah. on her head. It was very unique. I'm like, you got freckles on your head. Wait a minute. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm, I'm, and I'm fine with that. Yeah. You know, that, that's, that's, that's me. That's my natural thing. So I'm fine with that. But I don't have like no cuts or scrapes or knots or anything. And it, it's just like that skull with that bump in the back. Yeah. I do have the bump in the back like yeah. everybody have. But other than that, 
It was a perfect I'm knocking, good. in my opinion. I'm good. <laughs> so you'll see the pictures or whatever. Just let me know whether, okay, you good, you rocking it. Just let me know. Yeah. And I don't need really confirmation no, because it's say, how I feel yeah. every single day with it. I'm good with it anyway. So Yeah, that's all that is. You know? Yeah. Do you have a few wigs that you recommend? Do you remember the brands anyway? I don't. I will have to look at those brands. I really don't because I. I think it's like Buddha hair or something. I think it's like Buddha butt wigs, whatever. Yeah, I do have. I do have the um, tag in there. Yeah. So yeah. I I'll probably like show like a few on screen. Probably like three of them that she has bought from the same brand. Right. That's a really good brand. Right. And they their quality wigs are always just, in my opinion, just chef's kiss and it's just <laughs> the texture is flawless out the package you don't even have to do too right, much to it right all you gotta do is just cut the lace and tint it and you're good to go you know yeah and uh we're yeah uh, we're gonna take a little break and we're gonna end the episode now all righty people if you enjoyed this episode please 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 subscribe to the youtube channel and Give us like a rating as well on to um like um, it. <laughs> like the video as Subscribe well and also it. rate um uh, the video at least the uh, audio on Spotify and Apple Podcasts please we need the ratings get us up there get us up get yes, us up yes we're just getting started yes. but we are enjoying it yes, I know I are. am enjoying yes. this journey with you I really it's am it's such a relaxing thing just it sit is. down and you know just, just talk, talk to just yeah, talk. That's, it. that's it and um please uh. Go follow us on, at least not follow, go to our website, uh, com. We have a new blog post up by now. It'll probably be something dealing with Thanksgiving like weeks ago as this is being posted. Right. But we do have a Thanksgiving uh, post out there and probably it'll be like my first ever blog post up hopefully so you haven't put anything on your blog <laughs> I'm yet? finally no. gonna do something oh my god <laughs> okay I don't know what the title is going to be probably by now, but it'll be on the screen. Go read about it. Go enjoy it. And um, what else? Any final notes that you have to say, Mama? Again, like I said um, last week, thank you all for taking the time out of your busy schedule just to listen to us. It's not hard to do. You can listen to us while you're cooking, you're cleaning, you're driving, and do just want to have some downtime, relaxing in the bed, in your room. You can, you can listen. And just listen to... A mother and daughter talk yeah. authentically about a topic and about themselves personally. Yeah. Alrighty, everybody. I hope y'all have an amazing rest of your week. Stay warm because it is getting cold out there. Bundle up and uh, take your medicine. Do all right. that. Take your vitamins. <laughs> take, take your, your vitamins. vitamins, please. Get your shots if that's what you have. <laughs> that's what do. you get do on an annual basis as it's well. It's getting cold, please. I'm gonna say take care of yourself, and we'll see you guys next week with another video. Thank you.